Grand Rising, wonderful souls, and welcome to Bromwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. It's really good to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber, soul family, it's good to have you back. Uh, thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. Thank you for your emails. Please know that I am not checking my emails until tomorrow. Um, I will be opening up my readings tomorrow, and it is on the basis of first come, first serve. I will be only taking... Ooh, oh, hello. I will only be taking um, five to seven readings. Once I have actually booked in five to seven readings, I will be closing my readings again. I will make an announcement when they are open tomorrow and what the prices will be tomorrow. Um, and I will also then make an announcement once they are closed. Please do not send me emails after they have closed because I will not be checking them. One second, let me just grab these. Um, I need to do my legal disclaimers just to get them out of the way. Please know that my readings are for entertainment purposes only, even if they feel um, accurate to you. You need to take responsibility for your own um, actions while watching my readings and therefore after. And by watching this video, you are agreeing to do so. Um, anything that comes up in the areas of law, finance, mental health or physical health, please know that I am not a professional in any of those areas. I do not. I don't know. I don't claim to be either. Um, so if anything that comes up that is really is confirmation and clarity for you in your life and what is happening, please make sure that you're just reaching out to someone within those areas and seeking advice and guidance before taking any advice from moi. If I say he, she, masculine or feminine, woman or man, I'm picking up on energies. It's up to you whether or not you assign a gender. You don't have to. You can swap them around if it fits your story, but please do not force it. If it doesn't fit, it's not for you. Okay, let's crack on, shall we? I'm going to be ringing this lovely lady bell. This is to uh, cleanse the air around us. So if you have any type of sound sensitivity, please turn down your listening device now. Okay. Now I'm going to be using this deck here, Shakespeare playing cards. I haven't used these in a really long time. But they have um, each of the decks. Um, cups are hearts. Wands are, are clubs. Swords are spades and pentacles are diamonds in each one of them. Um, each each different suit denotes a different type of character in Shakespeare, any of Shakespeare's plays. So you have uh, the diamonds are heroes and heroines. The hearts are lovers. The spades, if I'm sure, the clubs are fools and gestures, which leaves the spades as villains. So let's see what wants to come out. What we need to know right now. Let's see. Shall you past, present, future? No. Okay. Been told no. So let's see. What do we need to know? What do we need to know right now, please? Please and thank you. Ooh, there we go. And we have Trinculo and Stefano. And these are the fools, I think. And look, you've got another lot of, of fools coming out underneath. A four and a five. Dogberry and Verges. So I'm going to be having a look at those. I want to know, um, should I just have a look now? Yeah, okay. So let's go for the fools. Here we go. <clears throat> so Trinculo and Stefano are the court jester and drunken butler of Alonso, king of Naples. They are shipwrecked on an island with Alonso and his uh, retinue but stumble across a strange creature named Caliban. After a few drinks, they decide to form a rebellion, take over the island and make Stefano king. Okay. So this is about, I was gonna say, this is about treason. This is backstabbing someone. This is being loyal servants to someone and then deciding that they could do it better. Now, do you want me to read this one over here? Yeah, I've been told to have a look at this one as well. Now we have here Dogberry and Verges. Dogberry and Verges are night watchmen in Messina. They're honest men and they take their jobs very seriously. But alas, they aren't very good at being watchmen or at talking. Or in talking in words, their total linguistic ineptitude is today known as malaprop malapropism. So how they save the day is anyone's guess. That's very interesting. This is very, very interesting because also this is in, they're both in, re in reverse. I feel like, especially with um, the Trinculo, 
Trinkola and Stefano, it's giving me the energy of being forced into doing some sort of betrayal. Because when you think of Dogberry and Verges, these people are, they take their job seriously, but they aren't very clever, unfortunately, or they don't have a very um, broad vocabulary. They aren't good at being watchmen or at taking in words. So there's something that, it's almost like they were placed in a position because the, whoever placed them there knew that these people in them in what this person's minds are are idiots. I don't think that they are idiots. I think that they may have someone may have a learning difficulty, or somebody may just I don't know. They were put into a, pl a placement or a role that didn't take into consideration any reasonable adjustments that they may have needed, and it seems that there was some sort of betrayal or whoever it is that they was supposed to be like their superior sees them as betrayers even if they weren't betrayers even if it was just because they were placed somewhere that didn't help them or couldn't they wouldn't they weren't able to help their superior so let's find out who is their superior who is it that feels betrayed in this present moment who feels like they're being betrayed these cards are going everywhere who feels betrayed who feels betrayed who the who feels betrayed, please and thank you. Well, that's interesting. Because we have both a villain and a lover. We have a villain and a lover, and they're both feeling betrayed. Because the one that I looked at first was Ophelia. Now, Ophelia, let's have a look. Where is Ophelia? Ophelia, sister lovers, it is, isn't it? No, I'm looking at diamonds, excuse me. Ophelia. Ophelia is a Danish noblewoman and the daughter of Polonius, King Claud Claudius' advisor. Excuse me, that was a tongue twister. She's in love with Prince Hamlet and believes he is in love with her. But when Polonius and Claudius learn of her love, they decide to use her as a pawn in a scheme against the prince. See, there you go. So you, they've, they've used not only this Ophelia as a pawn to scheme against someone, they've been using these two that they see as fools. Maybe one of these people is Ophelia. Maybe they see Ophelia as being a fool or being an idiot or something along those lines. And then you have over here the three witches, and the three witches are from Macbeth. I remember, they're the ones that share one eye, don't they? And when each of them wants to talk or see, they, they take the eye from the other and pop it into their head. It's kind of gross, really, when you think about it, right? Now, villains. Let's see the three witches. Three witches. The weird sisters, or the wayward sisters, use their magic to kill pigs wreck ships and have their way with sailors. They can also tell the future. At the start of the play, they meet Macbeth on the heath at sunset and tell him he will be king of Scotland. Okay. So these three witches also feel like they've been betrayed. Maybe they were expecting to get something. Um, Maybe there was an offering or something they were supposed to be getting. What were they supposed to be getting? So I keep hearing they were supposed to be getting Ophelia. They were supposed to be getting Ophelia. Where would you like me to go? Here? Here. What were they supposed to be getting? What were the weird sisters supposed to be getting? Second chakra. They were supposed to be getting something from someone's sacral chakra. It may have been a firstborn. Um, celestial alignment with the goat is here, the greatest of all time. This is a child. They were they were um, promised a child. Now tell me about who was it who set up these this um, Trinculio and Stefano, these two people? Who set them up in the first place? A Taurus, your beliefs, what you value, and your resources. Look, and you got to see underneath. This is someone who, you've got worthiness underneath and harvest. This is someone who has a mask of being very mothering or very paternal or maternal. They may even speak about, you know, finding your worthiness. And I heard common sense, though. 
this person has a mask on. It's maybe a mother figure of some sort. This person is very, um, they're very focused on money, resources, and how they can trick people out of certain things. And I say that, look what comes out. The thinking man, this is my Seven of Swords card. So what did they do to these two um, fools? What did they do to these two fools? And they're family members, because that's the number four on there. That's the fourth house. What did they do to them? Your idolisation of be part of something overwhelming and your dreams. So they, they've convinced them in some way that going against Ophelia, and I'm taking it that Ophelia is either you or someone in the collective. One second, let me just put my phone on. It's not on charge. There we go. That's either you or someone in the collective that going against you, being part of something overwhelming, they've convinced them to do something that would have been seen as a betrayal, a backstabbing. What was the betrayal? What did they convince them to do? What did they convince them to do? Please and thank you. Happy family. Came out on the side, up down. This way, yeah. It's upside down. They wanted to sell they wanted to sabotage some sort of gift and bring in some sort of storm. You've got to remember Pisces is also the 12th house. It's about endings. Um, they wanted to bring an end to something. A blessing or a curse. They may have placed a curse on someone's family, or they may have they've done something to someone's family to make them unhappy and to bring in self-sabotage. A snake. And then you also have here Mayat giving and receiving in reverse. That's interesting. They wanted to bring an end to something. How did they do this, though? What was said to um, these two fours? What was actually said to them? Clarity, please. Appreciation in reverse. So they've, they've, see, they've sown some sort of seed of doubt in these two people. And the thing is, you've got to remember the, the story of Tris... Trinculo and Stefania, I don't I don't actually know it, just just the blood that came off of there. That they were two kind of like loyal servants. That one wasn't one a jester and the other one was a drunkard. And they they've more or less betrayed this king because they think that Stefano should be the, the king. And Stefano is the I think that one is the drunk. So this is over drinking. This is talking to someone going, you should be, you actually, you should be where they are. You should be where the collective is. You should be getting their blessings because you know what they've been doing. And then talk something about unhappy family. I don't know if someone here has a drinking issue and it's been affecting their family. And this person over here, this, this mother hen kind of energy with the second house is going, well, it's not, you know, the reason why you have addictions, you know, the reason why this has happened is because of collective, because they did A, B and C. And you've got naked before the stars. Yeah, they told lies, lots of deceit. They masked themselves. You know why you haven't, you know, the reason why you haven't got the money that you need or you haven't got this abundance? Oh, it's because of collective. Have you seen what they've done? And you've got discernment in reverse. These people weren't using the discernment. And, and isn't it on the other side, it was Dogberry and Verges are not very good watchmen. They haven't got very good vocabulary. The frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet with compassion and wisdom. And it's upside down. They purposely goaded these two people into doing something because they were easy, they were easy to manipulate, is what I'm hearing. With compassion and wisdom in reverse, by giving them lies. And then you have cosmic flower. The frequency of cosmic flower activates our remembrance of the place we call home. The core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world. And it's upside down. They blocked something. Or something was blocked. Something was definitely blocked. These three witches, whatever energy they were working with, wanted something. Because look as well. That lady's pregnant. And I was talking about firstborn, it being in reverse. Now, it doesn't have to be an actual child. It could be the incubation and creation of an idea that is then birthed into life. And they wanted that for themselves. And then you have the seventh house. Di diplomatically, relationships get a fair deal. There is something here that these three witches wanted. 
And I want to know, was it the, um, was it Tr Trinculo and Stefano, the two idiots that, and I'm saying the two idiots, and I don't mean that. I am not stating that. This is coming from the, the point of view of whoever it is that's pretending to be a tet, who's pretending to have this worthiness, pretending to be like this mother hen who's very deceitful. She sees them as idiots, and I've opened, the, opened it to this. Woman holding the coin, this is a witch. Again, you've got a cat here. This person with desire underneath, I don't know if they use SEX magic, but Miracle came out with 33. They may say that they are connected to Ascendant Masters. The frequency of Miracle supports our belief in ourselves as part of Source and therefore our belief that anything is possible. Yeah, this person is a fake spiritualist. They're a fake spiritualist. And they made a deal with whatever that... The three witches, I'm not getting that they are three witches. They're entities or they've... I don't know what that is. What are the three witches? What are the three witches, please? Clarity. Clarity on the three witches. What are they? Different deck. Okay. Let me see here. Oh, dropping all my cards today. Let me see. I would like to know. Look at this. Knocking them everywhere. So there seems to be a lot of chaos around someone here. A lot of chaos. Or a lot of unstable energy is coming through. Tell me about the three witches. Who are they? Who are the three witches? You've got high honour, occupation in reverse, courtship in reverse, and you have main male. And lovers. These are different energies. I don't think they are three witches. I don't think it's one entity like Hecate that has, you know, three faces like the maiden, the mother and the crone. I don't think it's that. There seems to be three different, I want to say elementals, it's not. There's three energies that they're working with and I don't know if they're separate. They're volatile in some way though because them being the spades, being the villains, you have occupation upside down, you have high honour, you have courtship in reverse, you have main male. So with courtship in reverse, this is almost like when you think of Aphrodite as the, the goddess of love um, and appreciation and femininity, it's the opposite. There's a feminine energy that is the opposite. It sucks away or takes away love or takes away um, the, that, butterfly, that butterfly feeling of being in love or liking someone because the courtship is in reverse. Occupation is here as well. So this is like lack. Whatever this, whatever these three witches are is about lack and about what they want they want to gain high honor and look you've got lovers coming out as well so it's i don't know if this is an entity or a god or something but there's three separate ones lust it could be lust sloth and what about this one then i don't know it's like there's three sins that's what I'm getting here is three, I don't know, tell me more, tell me more about these three witches, one card please, just one, I'll take the top one, community, immature woman in reverse, so this immature woman, this mature woman, so this older woman who's very immature is the, um, the Taurus, the one who, and they don't have to be a Taurus, it's just that they're very focused on money and luxury and resources and what they can get and taking from others and they're working with an energy with a community of people there's a community of people and i don't know if it's like santa muerte i don't know there's there's more than one energy here and they all have a different job they all have a different job and this main male here to the mature woman i feel like this is over someone this betrayal was over someone, over a main male. And you've got a false person in reverse. They didn't want this main male coming towards a genuine person. And I feel like that's Ophelia there. And someone has been using you or using someone in the collective who resonates with Ophelia. Because if I reread that again, it was talking about, um, wasn't it family members or someone using Ophelia as a pawn when they realised who Ophelia liked or who she'd fallen in love with. Let me pop these over here. I don't know if I showed you them all. I heard wishes granted. So whoever, it, whatever this energy is, 
it grants wishes, but there is um, a contract or there's um, responsibilities, clauses, whatever, terms within this contract. I will scratch your back if you scratch mine in a specific way. And what I want is this. I want something from someone's sacral chakra, their creativity, their fertility, I don't know. And there was a community of people that were working on this or worked with this energy. Let me put this over here and here. And let me get two more cards, please. Tell me about Ophelia. Tell me about Ophelia, please. Tell me about Ophelia. Gift. It's because Ophelia is getting money. And it's literally days, maybe weeks away, maybe a month away for someone because Distant Horizons is upside down. And this is pertaining to a main male. Someone here is coming forward with a physical gift, an actual gift. They've left their home, or they may have left their home in some sort of paperwork through the courts. And you should expect this to be coming through soon. Message of concern is coming out as well. Um, so who betrayed, who's the king then? The main male? Let me see. Who's this king that was betrayed by these two fools? Who's the king? King of Wands in reverse, temperance. This is somebody who is um, balanced, who takes their time. They're not somebody who rushes into things. They're lovers. Come now. So you have a main male who is the king of Wands in reverse. It's not so much that this person isn't attractive or doesn't find you attractive or whatever that may be. It's that this person has healed quite a lot when it comes to relationships and that is not their first port of call. And it seems that there is an older woman who is very immature, who has been speaking poison into people's ears when it comes to gossip, when it comes to, and especially when it comes to a community of people. And whatever energies they were calling on, they done effed up because they can't, um, they can't deliver what it is that they said that they would be able to. It was blocking some sort of awakening happening for you or someone in the collective. It was blocking your gifts. It was supposed to bring in self-sabotage and it hasn't. It literally hasn't. I feel like the people that they were speaking to, again, it's, these people aren't idiots and they're not fools and they're not dumb. That is how this um, older woman, this immature older woman feels. They look at other people like they're better than them and they put this mask on of being some sort of spiritual healer and they're literally not, they're just using them for money and resources. But they know that the people that they're speaking to are deeply wounded in some way and so can easily trigger them by going, you know that so-and-so said this, this, and this about so-and-so and then they'll pass that on. And they believe some sort of lie, this immature older woman said, about this main male who seems to be a lover. They seem to be a lover for... Um, Someone in the collective here. Someone for this genuine person. I don't know if I showed you them. Temple and King of Wands. Tell me more about this main male, please. Tell me more about what they did to betray this main male. What did they do? What did they do? Let me do it one more time. What did they do to this main male? I heard they helped her to pack him up and go. They fleeced something from him. Look, you've got the eight of wands in reverse materialism. Yeah, they, 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 they fleeced some sort of money or a home or something from this main male. Knight of swords, they did it flipping quick as well. Ace of pentacles. I don't know if this main male is like a business owner or it's just very affluent when it comes to finances. And they did something to turn away customers or turn away partners or sponsors or something along those lines because you also have um, the Ace of Pentacles underneath. They did something very quickly to make those who were interested in this person's services lose interest overnight like that. Boom, gone. Because that Knight of Swords is a fast moving action. That gives me like... Um, it's almost like someone shouting or screaming. It's that type of energy. And they block this person from having any type of money or finance. 
They were trying to block this person from high honor or from this relationship that is of high honor. This the lover's card to high honor. Yeah, and then you have appreciation in reverse. They wanted this ended. And they must they must have collaborated then once once these two fools, and I'm only saying fools because I want to remember whether I'm talking about a fool, a lover, a villain. Um but these two fools, they ate it up. They ate it up and they wanted justice. They wanted to take everything they could from this King of Pentacles. Look. They wanted to rinse this person out of their money. So what did they do? What did they do to their business? Queen of Wands, what did they do to their business? They got very creative. Slander, liable. You've got here the Nine of Wands to the Queen of Wands. This is... They definitely blocked this person from their clientele. I feel like um, something was done on social media and there was a lot of um, slander or defamation against this person's character. A lot. This person has had to have their, their guard up in some way or they've had to move. What happened to their business? What else happened to their business? Please and thank you. Hanged man. Yeah, they had to move. They literally had to move on. Two of Wands to the Hanged Man in reverse. They moved away. They literally moved away. Now, I don't know if this Taurus energy, this deceitful person, is related to this main male, was an ex of this main male. They knew them somehow. Because there's this energy of you're not doing as I tell you to. So if I can't control you that way, I'm going to ruin you. Tell me about the deceit and the two... The second house. Tell me about the seat in second house, please. The seat in second house. High priestess in reverse. There you go. To the magician. So this is um. This is a fake high level relationship. This is someone pretending to be a high priestess because for me the high priestess and the magician are either twin flames or extremely high level soulmates, and there is definitely a disparity there. There is definitely. Um, a lack of equilibrium between the balance in these two because you have one that is purposely hurting and, and harming others for their own benefit so they can climb the ladder and then you have another person here who is a provider who is working their butt off to take care of not only themselves but people around them and that's who this main male is the main male is the magician and the high priestess in reverse i'm now getting is either somebody who is obsessed with money or is stressed out about losing money because this main male has now moved away from them and they are very deceitful in how they present themselves to others now with um deceit being there and naked before the stars in reverse this is someone that is pretending to look like someone that they're not this may be doppelganger energy but with the mayat there in reverse with giving and receiving and happy family this person um I don't know if they're telling people that you broke up their family or that you slept with this main male. This is all part of the deal that they had with whatever entity energy or whatever that they are working with, that a whole community has been working with. They had to get people who are quite um, easily triggered or easily will fall into their shadow state and gossip and bitch and moan, excuse my language. They wouldn't be able to do that with high rising people. That was part of the deal. There's something here about the essence and energy that they eat. So this person's moved away from a high priestess. A dark high priest or a dark high priestess. This magician has. Tell me more about this relationship. Where's this um, main now moved to? The chariot. This person was stuck. I think that they were stuck for quite a while and I don't know if all of it was just because of doubt or worry. I think it's also because there was some sort of magic in play. If you have a high priestess in reverse or high priest to high priestess in reverse, this is someone um, using magic for foul play. Foul play. And where I put the high priestess next to this celestial alignment, this person was trying to pretend that they were aligned. This is bringing me back to this fake spiritualist. They didn't really know what their options were. It took them quite a while to move. And maybe they still don't know what their options are, but they do want to... There's either them, they're bringing a gift, or there's, a, there's definitely a gift coming from the universe. Four of Swords is coming out to judgment in reverse. Someone is exhausted by the negative karma that they've had. 
or they're running from something. Who is it that's running? The main male? Or, um, oh, oh, that said no, not the main male. So who is it that's running? Is it a pet or the woman? The sea. And the seven of cups in reverse. Deceit, deceit, deceit. This is a collaboration. Someone wants a collaboration. No, that's what they wanted was a collaboration after all of these lies. Queen of Swords upside down. Yeah, you've got a liar here. You've got an absolute liar. They were lying to family members. So that's why I felt like there was family members here. Whoever this Taurus is or this energy of, you know, um, being deceitful, but then smiling to people's faces and speaking poison into other family members um, ears because they were lying. They were lying about an empress and it's irrespective of gender because we all have empress energy within us. They were lying about this. What were they saying? What exactly were they saying? Something about how you got your new beginning. How you were getting new beginnings when it came to love as well and happiness. And I don't know if they were doing this while the main male was still there or afterwards. Because this main male has felt ambushed in some way by either... Um, I was going to say either, but it's not. It's by this this high priestess, the high priest in reverse, and family members. Now, I don't know if that, that is their family members or the main male's family members, but this person is very disappointed. I heard it was the push they needed to leave. It was the push they needed to leave. And I've got the song by... Um, BB No Money and Young Gravy in my head. You need Jesus. You need Jesus. Go back to church. Yeah, this is um, someone from the past. Someone in the past is stuck. Because they've done something illegal. They did something illegal. This 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 person, this Taurus, this, this fake person is someone from... I don't know if they're someone from your past or if they're from this main male's past. I think it may be from both, I'm not sure. This person self-sabotaged themselves. They're stuck now. They're stuck with some sort of court case or they're stuck with some sort of investigation or they're stuck with some sort of evidence that points the finger at them because you have the King of Swords in reverse and this is in upright, this is about legality, this is morals, this could be someone in the military or in the police force. With it this way, this is something being done that is shady. Someone that feels like they're above the law. What did they do that was shady? What did they do that was illegal? Queen of Pentacles. They took and they lost. They placed some sort of bet on someone. They placed a bet on someone. Or they put a lot of money into what? What did they put a lot of money into? They put a lot of money into a business. And I feel like this business fell. So they may have been... They may have had a business with this main male. And when this main male said, I'm moving away from you, that is when the business ended. And that's why they stayed for so flipping long. This is why you have, this could be someone's twin flame or high level soulmate. They stayed for so flipping long because there was that entanglement of the legality and red tape of sharing a business together. Be that a brand, be that product, whatever that may be. With the trust of a child, fun, romance and making art, doing it dramatically. So I don't know if this person is an artist. I don't know if they're a musician, if they're a rapper, a dancer, a singer. And they may have a child together. Accept, defend, let your feelings tell you how to, the moon. Brazen is upside down and show the world the real you. This person has slowly, this may now has slowly been showing the world the real them. And this may have... Um, this may have like been like a thorn in the side of this high priest to high priestess in reverse. Because there's something about control here. This person likes to control the narrative, whether it's a truthful narrative or not. Which is what they were doing with a whole community. A whole flipping community here. And this main male started to change either their perspective, how they dressed, how they, they spoke. It could have been that they were quoting lyrics from your song or they were listening to 
I don't know, they were listening to your blog, your vlog, whatever it was, and there were certain things within it that, that really clicked with them and they started using that in their vocabulary. And this, this woman, he, she, they did not like this. They didn't like it. And it happened quietly and slowly. It wasn't almost like, you know, one day you have really, really long, long, long hair and all of a sudden you cut it off and it's now spiky, you know. It was slowly over time this has developed. This may have been, yeah, look, you've got the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, and you've got community in reverse. People started to notice. They noticed a change in this brand or they, they noticed a change in this business and that it wasn't gelling between two people. And when this went to court, I feel like um, both people have missed out. Both people have kind of lost. It wasn't a win-win um, win -win forecast for either of them because the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. This person lost out a lot of money as well. And I heard him liable because I don't know what is going on here. The seven chakra, Archangel Uriel, and the garden and the gate. This is a block in someone's crown chakra. That's a block in someone's crown chakra. Indecision is upside down. This person is definitely stuck in some way with a spotlight on them for doing something deceitful. Resistance is upside down. They have to surrender to this and they don't like it. They don't like that they have to, to surrender to it. Caring connections. Wow, so someone here is having to surrender to the fact that whoever they were with, this main male, has a connection with someone else. And I feel it like it might be you or someone in the collective. And everything that they've been doing, they've been doing for it. It's been a waste of time, is what I'm hearing. It's a waste of time. Harvest. They can't harvest off this masculine anymore. They kind of have to surrender to this. And there's been an entire community that's been helping them. Why? Why? Look, large institutions are overwhelming events. Your faith, your hidden tendencies. An angel of love has come out and delight. This person is so two-faced that they were able to more or less, um, what's the word, place an illusion over the eyes of a whole community when it came to, and I feel like when I say community, I am talking about either an online community or a religious community. Um, they were able to place the wall over the eyes of so many people because the amount of people that are in this community are unhealed. And it's not saying that, you know, if you class yourself as being, you know, high vibrational, that you you don't have wounds either, because we all do. But there's a difference. And I'm sure I said this in one of my other readings. There's a difference between um, not knowing that you have wounds and acting from them or knowing you have wounds and being too fearful to heal them. So you constantly wear them as armor and anyone says anything to you, you react to somebody who's like, you know what, I'm on my healing journey and sometimes I get triggered, but it's part of the process and I know this wound is here and I'm actively taking steps to heal myself at my own pace. There's a difference there. They took delight in this because they were telling people that they were the angel of love or that they were, and it comes back to this worthiness at the start with this Taurus energy. This person is either a fake, they're like a pastor or they are a spiritualist guru or they may have their own YouTube platform, I don't know. There's something here with them spouting fake positivity and they were able to trick an entire community into believing that you were the, you were the devil or that you were, um, I don't know, you, are, you reside with dense energy. And it's down to jealousy. It's literally down to the fact that they cannot control the narrative anymore. They can't control this main male anymore. Because this person has just gone, do you know what? I'm throwing that business to the wind. I don't care if I come out with nothing. I don't want to be around you. I don't want to be around this contr your controlling ways. The way that you are manipulating people who um, you see as stupid. Or, you know, manipulating people by gaslighting and poking at their fears. Raw. This person left. They literally left. I heard, I wouldn't spit on you if you were on fire. And I know that's not the saying, but that's what I heard. Desire is gone. Daughter of romance, yeah. So this, this is obviously some sort of marriage or some sort of connection. It wasn't just business, but it isn't anymore. It's not even business anymore. 
It's not even business anymore. Because that daughter value in reverse, there's nothing left there. There is nothing left there. Journey, this person has moved away. I feel like this main male may be moving towards you or someone in the collective. Storm warning and the world. Prosperity lies ahead. This person is so angry. They're so angry because they they feel like they haven't been able to attach to someone's energy. They haven't been able to. And if this is the person that was trying to... There's someone here that was trying to attach to this main male. They were trying to connect to this main male through their sacral chakra. It could have been through their family then. So maybe this Trinculo, Trin, Trinculo and Stefano were family members of this uh, main male. And they were working together to do something to their fertility, to their creativity. Um, and when it comes to the root chakra, it may not have been that they were trying to do binding work. It may be that you already are connected through your root chakra. You've got prosperity lies ahead and all tied up. And your willpower, what you think about, what you think you know about, do it your own way and. There's something to do with money and there's a smoking gun, it's a proverbial, not an actual one, proverbial smoking gun um, that points fingers towards this Taurus person and towards the people that they have manipulated into helping them do something fraudulently. Because I don't know if they were telling the community that you stole from them, you stole content, or you did something. Stop copying me. And it's like, I don't even know who you are. Who are you? Who is she? Realisation. And cosmic power. Excuse me. Let me turn this over. Virgo. The serving of others, the details of, do what you must do. And then cosmic power this is my um card of the inner child so someone here has been organizing and analyzing their inner child joy and wounds with realization being here the frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in the world I don't know, somebody moved away. I feel like this main male has gone on more than one journey. There's been a, the physical journey of moving away from those who no longer resonate with them or those who are very dysfunctional. But also, this is a journey of healing that this person has gone through emotionally and mentally. They've been compartmentalizing, analyzing, um, looking at the details of what they must do to heal themselves, going through that realization that the relationship or the business partnerships that they were in had no, there was no door to value, there was no desire there, it was just a lot of storm warnings, a lot of um, disparity I keep hearing, I don't even think that's the right word. Step out of your comfort zone, so they stepped out of their comfort zone. And the minute they did that, because they were actually setting healthy boundaries, the minute you set healthy boundaries with people who do not respect boundaries, they're going to throw their rattle out of the pram straight away. So that now that they're throwing the rattle out of the pram is them working with two family members to bind or do something to this main male's um, sacral chakra, their creative flow. Surrender to the divine has come out. Don't let your past hold you back and romantic love. So this main male may have a lot of wounds or a lot of concerns or lack of confidence because of what they've been through when it comes to either a marriage, a union, a business partnership or all or, or three. Because it, it went completely tits up, excuse my language. So they may be, they, they seem to be coming forward and I do not feel like it's a fast thing. They aren't as far away as they were before with distant horizons being in reverse. And romantic love being here says the frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with and... Excuse me. Let me read that again. The frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with and reflection of a conscious lover. So that's what's coming in here. Look, daughter romance is coming out, bro. You've got Taurus coming out again. Resources to maintain the practicality of resulting from the productivity of. I feel like this person over here is, um, they were pretending to be you. Or they were, they were just, there's something here about copycat energy. And then becoming very angry that they now can no longer control how someone sees them. Not just the narrative, but how someone sees them, perceives them and perceives you. 
they haven't been able to um, place you as a false person anymore in any way, shape or form. This person, because you've got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like that relationship was extremely draining for each other. Extremely draining. Yeah, because you've got level up here in reverse as well. Someone here has definitely lost a job. Tell me anything else I need to know about the three riches. Rest and rejuvenation. That energy, whatever they've been working with, um, it feeds off of energy and it hasn't been able to harvest. So it is, it's withering or it's something. And the chaos that this Taurus person created in the first place was supposed to be sent towards you or it was supposed to be sent in a way that this main male would not look at you how they are looking at you and how they should have been looking at you from the first place and it has just almost stuck onto this person i heard like napalm napalm and it burns it's like vaseline spicy vaseline it's stuck on them and they no matter how much they wipe it it's still there someone here needs to rest a lot because a new start is definitely coming look Season, new, look it says season and it says a new start is coming but it's upside down this there's a gift coming in very very quickly for someone here there's a gift coming in yeah so you're going to be able to navigate and remove some sort of storm dynamic the frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of diff of different origin and frequency it helps us to put together a, a reality that is made up of different elements both familiar and completely new with ease, grace and great joy. I feel like someone's gift also, there's there's more than one gift, it's multifaceted, but one of them has got to do with your crown or with your, your crown, your third eye, your throat, the higher chakras here are going to be reset. Anything else before I go? This one? Let's have a look a little bit more about this main male. Thoughts and feelings of this main male towards the collective, please. And thanking you. Let's see what needs to come out. Clarity, please. Oh my goodness. And they've got camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past and make memories, and it's upside down. So I don't know. This person may not be aware of you. Because sometimes with the past, these people already know you. They've had experiences with you, you know. Um, this could be someone new coming in. And the only one that was aware of what's going on here with this union was their, their false person. Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So this person right now is looking into healing their inner child as well. Because it says relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. And the relationship is over. This person is befriending themselves. They are working on themselves at present. Um, and I feel like when they, they meet you or someone in the collective, it says here, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting and wanting to date. This is like a connection to one of the readings that I did where it was talking about becoming friends first, then becoming best friends, then becoming lovers, then becoming, you know. Um, right now, this person doesn't know about you or they're just about they may have already just met you just and i feel like it's very early on um this person very much has they've created closure that they needed from this person from the past whoever this person is from the past now tell me more about the main male anything else they need to know okay so when they meet the collective how are they going to feel what do we need to know dragonfly being light-hearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. And you have passion upside down. And it says in insane chemistry, liking each other equally and having fun. And it's strange because we have be light-hearted, finding out things, coming to light, and adapt, change, and heal. So I don't know if this main male is used to being serious or not really showing, like laughing and stuff like that. Especially if they've been through an absolute this show with that person from the past and the drama that they were bringing as well as any spell work that they may be trying to do or whatever gossip that they've been doing with family members so this person may have forgotten what it was like to connect to the inner child and they're slowly doing this and this relationship the beginning of this is going to be very um, refreshing for this main male to speak to somebody who is or connect with somebody who is fun or laughs or is just like it says being light-hearted you know, adapt, change, heal, things coming to light. 
Anything else we need to know before we go? Bro, it's your twin flame. If you believe in twin flame, and I said this from the start, but I thought this was either a twin flame or it was a high level soulmate. And there you go, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. And this person, this person knew this. This Taurus, this fake worthiness, a tet energy, this deceitful person, they knew this. They may read cards, they may be, I think that they're a witch, like a low vibrational witch. Um, there's a lot of control and illusion and I'm going to be the puppeteer master, you're the puppets. This person, I don't know how they've read your energy, but they've read your energy and they've done everything they can to stop you from coming into this masculine's life or this masculine coming into your life. And it's down to money, look, luxury, their lifestyle, because whatever business they had together was um, very good. It was a very affluent business. They were bringing in a lot of money. But I feel like that person, that false twin flame, the false twin flame to your twin flame, they were stealing someone else's light, someone else's energy, someone else's essence, someone else's um, ideas. Coffin here, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. This person is not, they're not over. They haven't finished what they're doing. It's almost like, how dare you walk away from me? Or how dare you have the last the last word? I will have the last word and then I will flick my hair and walk away. Ooh, where did you go? Why are they always going the most awkward places for me to try and reach? Chair yoga. It says here, addiction. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a black restraint. There you go. There you go. What else? Anything else? Ooh. Because they feel, yeah, look at this. And it comes back to the start about betrayal. Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. And then you've got sabotage here. So this person is literally getting a pie, a, hum a pie of humbleness. Humble yourself. Because all of the stuff that they've been doing to sabotage this connection that this masculine will have or should have to someone in the, the collective that could be their twin flame or their divine counterpart, all the stuff that they've been doing to create betrayal, to create sabotage, is now coming back on themselves. It's literally coming back on themselves. And they, I feel like this... Um, this Taurus, this person, it doesn't have to be a Taurus, I've said this, it's just someone who's obsessed with money and the way that they look. Um, this person is feeling really betrayed. And they, they're kind of up if, ish, a creek without a, a paddle because they still have those energies waiting. Like, come now, TikTok, what are you giving us energy-wise? What are you giving us energy-wise? Someone here is tired or they're aging very quickly or they're having a lot of plastic surgery to hide this. And... There's nothing wrong with having plastic surgery. If that's what you want to do, it's your body. But this person has done something. Um, they've over. They've done. They've overcompensated. It's almost like I just watched um, a short, and it was talking about there was someone going around like a, a beauty, um, a place where you go and get feathers and stuff like that. And they were asking each person, "What have you had done?" And each person had had, had one thing done at least. The first person was like, "I'm 26 and I've had my lips done." Um, one of the last people was like, yeah, I've had everything done. I've had my cheeks, my chin, my jaw, my lips, my forehead, my blah, blah, blah. Um, whoever this fake niceness person is, this fake twin flame to your twin flame, this person has had to continue to have something done to their face because they've, they've done something to mess themselves up. Rebuilding, interrogation, re repetitive, persistent, working on it. This, this person is like a dog with a bone. They, they don't want to let go of this person because they know how um, they're like a lucky charm. This business meant that they didn't have to work, really. And you've got to think, right, um, your twin flame or someone's twin flame here is the magician. They're a provider. They have all the resources. or they. It's almost like you could go to them with a problem and be like, it doesn't have to be financial, just I have a problem and I can't solve it. And they will, they'll have the resources to be able to figure it out for you. So this is not just somebody who has money in the bank. This is somebody who knows how to create money from nothing. They know how to um, fix certain problems because they have a really analytical or logical mind. They may be an Aquarius, somebody who thinks outside of the box. Um, and they've lost that because it was never theirs in the first place. And they were controlling, very, 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 very controlling. So now they're talking with their friends that it looks like moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. So this person's going out drinking quite a lot. 
they're putting some sort of facade on here. They want to sabotage this masculine who's going out with their friends, moving on, is happily single, living in the moment and having fun. It's almost that energy of like, think back to like prom. And let's say, because I didn't go to prom simply because we didn't have that at our school until the year after I left. Sucks, right? Um, but imagine going to prom and your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your he, she, your he, she, they, um, you've had an argument and you've, you're on a break. And then you turn up at prom with your mates and they turn up at prom with someone else, okay? And they're only with that other person because they want to make you jealous. And they're going to keep saying to the other person, oh, can I just turn this way? Because they're trying to look at you to see if you're looking at them. Is it working? Is it working? That's the energy that I'm getting from this Taurusy energy of, you know, I want luxury, I want it all. I don't want to work for it, blah, 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 blah. Let me use you, use you, use you. This person, I don't know if they watch your social media or they watch this masculine social media. There's something about in the past they did this and were, was checking your social media or someone's posts or something to see whether or not they had got under your skin. And I know that they are definitely like social media stalking this masculine. And all they're seeing is this person has stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance and flexibility. This masculine's moved on because they realised that this person was a snake. That it was all to do with competition. This person was an enemy. They were clever and malicious. And they wanted this masculine to be looking over their shoulder. They're the other woman. They were always the third party. What's happened to these family members? These people that were so gullible into helping masks they're not showing their true feelings they're hiding they're personifying pretending and they're gaslighting because they know that something's some time has run out right it says need time takes time in time cycles time to heal and progress and it's upside down and then you've got a coffee cup here these two family members i don't think they realize um what they've got themselves into legally they've done something together fraudulently or they've done something to slander someone's name but they've been the evidence that is pointing at this other person, this fake twin flame to yours, is also pointing towards them. And it says here, look, meeting, conversing, savouring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. So you have two siblings or two family members that are sitting down going, what do we do about this? Because we kind of need to wipe our names out of this. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll still be, you know, we we'll still be friends and blah, 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 blah. But what do we do about this other person? Because you've got soulmate in reverse and you've got cassette. They're realising that. This Taurus over here is, has outdated thinking. They've been conditioned into doing certain things. They were playing, they were playing certain things back over in their head and they're realising how easily guided they were by someone else. And it says here, soulmate in reverse, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract is upside down. And keep his arrow. So I don't know if this person done a, a love spell to try and get this main male back or to get you connected to somebody that wouldn't be healthy for you and it didn't work. It says, have faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation, meeting or hesitation. Let me have a big drink before I continue. Make sure you're getting yourself hydrated. Now, if this is at present, are they doing this over, are they trying to do something over the solar eclipse? What are they trying to do? Where do you want me to go? I've already done those ones. Oh, these ones. Let's have a look. What are they trying to do? You will not let fear stop you this time. They're trying to get rid of the protector and they want you to be frightened. Or they want this masculine to be frightened. I will show you who to trust. Oh, they want you to... They, they were trying to do something to someone's third eye. Something is about to end for now. Yeah, they're continuing this. So over this um, solar eclipse... They're trying to mess with somebody's confidence. They're trying to tie up or bind someone's um, finances or your willpower, what you think you know about, the way that you do certain things. Now, is this, are these two family members have to help him? I had yes, but to him. There's something about binding him. It's his creativity. I knew it was his sacral chakra. Creativity, genius, writing, expression, artistic flow. And that's 31 condensing down to a four. This is the fourth house. They're trying to bind this person. And I heard that could be their cousins. It could be their cousins. You've got heed, wide counsel, and lesson here. And wisdom as light as a feather. There's some sort of information coming in. What's the information that's coming in that we need to heed? 
Your contradictions and complexities are interesting. My life is as is my life is sweet. There's some sort of um, advice that's coming in that your life isn't sweet because you are unique or because you're you're special or blah, blah, blah. I feel like it's because you're blessed. And I know that this energy coming in, especially over the solar eclipse, is supposed to make you fear yourself or fear standing out. And you should listen to my last reading because it was talking about that as well and that I feel that this Taurus over here is very, very threatened by the way that you hold yourself, how you hold yourself to account, how you hold yourself in love, how you hold yourself in wisdom, how you hold yourself in joy, how you connect to your inner child, how you allow passions lead to, to follow you or follow you, for you to follow passions lead, you know, and that could literally be um, you love going out and swimming or you like going to the lake or you like... Um, water gliding or it could be hand gliding and just going and doing that and even if other people don't want to do it with you you're doing it because you love that this person is very very jealous of the fact that you have these things um but you're being told that this your con contradictions and complexities are interesting in reverse is letting letting me know or letting you know that um it's okay to be different but this even if it makes you stand out it doesn't make you a sore thumb. I don't know if that's the right thing. It doesn't make you a sore thumb. The gift of sacred sight and the cast away out of your death and feeling abandoned. So this solar eclipse, I feel like it may bring up certain things from the past and maybe from childhood for someone here about feeling out of place or feeling like you were sticking out like a sore thumb. Maybe when you were younger, you didn't feel like you, were, you fit in. And I feel like this might be happening to this masculine as well, because if this masculine, this main male energy has a fear of abandonment, this may be highlighted right now at a time when they're no longer in this relationship. They're no longer in dysfunctionality and they have to, um, they kind of have to figure out that pattern that goes all the way back to childhood to where they first felt abandoned why they felt like that and heal that part to heal that part this is all the fourth house and it's creativity as well that is why you have two people from either his family i keep getting two cousins that are trying to bind this masculine's um sacral chakra because your sacral chakra is about creativity and fertility but it's also to do with how we um connect to emotions and emotional things and events and memories from childhood that revolve around our family and our family unit and that it all connects into creativity because you know a lot of the times when we create when we are um expressing ourselves creatively especially when we're younger it's art therapy we're channeling how we felt we're channeling trauma we're channeling channeling um, pain we're channeling um anger um and after a while, that goes from being something that channels volatility into channeling something very, very beautiful. Um, they're trying to block this. Whoever this main now is, is very creative, even though they're very logical. There may be a part of them that they had to lock away when they were younger or they had to lock away when they were with this Taurus because it was such a controlling environment. And no one can create art when they feel like they're not safe. Or they're not stable it's like me trying to get my paints out when i know that my mum's about to walk into this room and put loud music on i'm not going to be able to you know and that's the same here this union is going to bring in it's the yin and the yang if you feel like you are very much up in the air this person will ground you and if you feel very grounded and logical this person is going to give you the opportunity to experience um being silly you know leading with your inner child not caring what other people think there's an e there's a easy um balance between the two and this person realized that that was not coming from that person over there because that person did nothing but gossip did nothing but play people against each other and even when this person was trying to be soft they still came across as just being wounded and I've said this before, and it is my complete and utter belief that you are not going to meet your twin flame, your actual twin flame, or your highest, highest soulmate until you have healed a certain amount of trauma within yourself, because otherwise you are just going to hurt each other and it becomes very codependent and very toxic. So anyone that feels like they've been in a relationship with their twin flame, but their twin flame tried to set their house on fire or stole from them, then that's not your twin flame. The universe, there's no point the universe putting you 
together with your twin flame before you were both divinely ready, it would be a waste. And this person here somehow convinced this masculine that they were supposed to be together. I don't know if this masculine understands, um, you know, the terminology, the esoteric terminology of higher level soulmate or twin flame or anything like that. They may, they may not. Um, but they, they do understand about, you know, gelling together and just chilling together. And that's something that um, they may have not had before. The gift of sacred sight and cast away out of your depth feeling abandoned. I feel like this solar eclipse is going to, I think this is part of this gift that's coming towards you, especially the esoteric part of um, uncovering things within our shadow, because sometimes gifts are hidden in the places where we have feared them in the past, be that when we were children or in past lives, um, something's going to be opened up. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get you to be scared or they're trying to get this masculine to be scared of genuinely being themselves and this masculine already has started doing this and had started kind of um navigating the more shadowy parts of themselves as well as the bright parts what do they like what clothes do they want to wear how do they want to walk or talk or what do they want to eat Serpentine path to power this, this is kundalini arising so expect quite powerful energies to come through with the solar solar um eclipse if you feel angry let it out if you feel creative let it out if you feel spicy let it out whatever it may be you're being told to go with the flow of it because it will be very very grounding for you um, i feel like i should leave this here um let me know if you want a second part i don't know if this is finished but i feel like i should leave this here um thank you to everyone that has come through and has left comments messages um i really really appreciate you thank you for your donations thank you for helping um the gofundme um, all together we have raised um, £11,200 which is mind blowing, I'm going to keep putting updates, um, I'll put up some little videos as well um, the last update that I put up was, um, for those of you who don't know I've been doing a, a GoFundMe for a, um, a dog and cat, it's a street rescue in Sri Lanka it's the only one that they have in the entirety of the east coast of Sri Lanka and the lady who runs it her name is Connie and she has spent her life just giving back to the community and helping these animals because a lot of them they don't get neutered so their their population is ridiculous and animals in Sri Lanka um, are mainly used for protection and for work and a very 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 small percent are used as pets which means that it the people in Sri Lanka will not hurt or harm those animals but they are not going to be going out and looking after them in the way that people would in other countries um, so if an animal gets hit by a tuk-tuk, um, they will become crippled, even if they were taken to a hospital and all they need is to have, you know, certain like cast put on them and then they, then they have physical therapy. They're not going to get that. And many animals die on the wayside because of that. And Connie has spent her life savings helping these animals and she's already at full capacity. She can only take 150 dogs and 50 cats, but she goes out daily, 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 daily to give them the medication that they need to stop them from having mange. Um, if she you know, finds animals that are injured, can take them into the, the nearest city, which is Candy, um, to go and have operations and medication. She's amazing. She's an amazing, amazing earth angel. And the money that has been raised so far has meant that... Um, there's a space within the um, rescue where they wanted to put sand, just loads as thick sand as possible for the animals that didn't have wheelchairs because it meant they could drag their bodies across it without getting sores. And the dogs were so flipping excited when they saw the sand. And the ones that don't have wheelchairs, they spend a lot of time in there and they love it because it's so much more comfortable for them. Um, She's been able to buy new wheelchairs as well. She's been able to fix an area that was for the smaller puppies um, when they are first coming out and integrating because it was all broken down and they've built that up again. They've been able to set, um, send out two or three animals to Germany to have a better chance of being adopted than they do in a Sri Lanka. It's just made the world of difference. It means that she can also, um, she can also sponsor um, certain dogs or cats that can be then put into families that wouldn't be able to afford the dog food, the medication, and she can 
teach them animal care, basic animal care of what they need to look out for if there's an infection, how to take care of this animal, um, so on and so forth, which is wonderful because it means that it actually touches the community as well. I know I'm re-talking about this again because anyone else that would like to donate, it doesn't matter if you want to give one dollar um, and if you can't afford to do that, I would love for you to be able to just share the, share the post, share the, the GoFundMe with anyone that you know that loves fur babies because the more that we send it out, the more love we get back and um, I don't want this GoFundMe to just be a flash in the pan and then that's it. I, I feel like I want to continue supporting and if you guys would like to as well, you know, whenever you can, even if it's just by word of mouth and then going, hey, have a look at this GoFundMe because um, what she's doing is beautiful and we need people who have that compassion to put it into action as well. Because without people like Connie, without people like you, we wouldn't be able to help those animals. We wouldn't be able to, they wouldn't be able to have wheelchairs. So I'm really, really thankful. Anyone that would like to donate, please have a look at the GoFundMe. It's just underneath all of the links that I have for different meditations. If you look underneath there, you will see Loku's dog and cat care rescue link. You will see a link to their website. You will see a link to their Facebook group as well. Um, thank you, all of you. I love you guys. Please know that I'm not taking readings today. I will be tomorrow. Um, do not get fooled by anyone in the comment section pretending to be me. I will never offer a reading through WhatsApp. And I do not take payment through PayPal. If you pay me through PayPal, I won't know because I don't really check it. Um, and if you do not have a conversation with me, because I have to be able to custom fit your needs... Um, into your reading and you pay me through paypal um i won't know and when i do i will just refund you the only way to pay is through an invoice that i send to you once we have had a conversation okay um so when i open the doors tomorrow if you do not get a response from me on that monday it means that the, the places have already been taken please do not pay any money until we've had a conversation um with that being said i love you guys and i'm gonna go bye 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 Boop.